Which god answers prayers the fastest? Let's find out. We got a Muslim. We're so peaceful, I swear. A Jew. We're not control the video. A Christian. Is there a moment to talk about Jesus Christ? Not right now. A Hindu. Namaskaram. A Buddhist. Namuagida Okay. And we got an atheist. Uh, God's not real, guys, so why don't you jot that down? Each contestant has been assigned a number one through six. I'm gonna roll a dice. They're gonna pray to their respective gods that their number be shown. I roll the dice a hundred times. We tally the results, find out who the true God is. This is a 100% real experiment. All of these contestants are real people of that faith. They are not paid actors. In fact, they think they're getting paid, and they're not. I'm an atheist because I care about three things. Facts, logic, truth, and science. Why do I think I'm gonna win? In 2016, a child fell into a zoo enclosure at the Cincinnati Zoo. A gorilla picks him up. A zookeeper shoots the gorilla. That gorilla's name? Harambe. You tell me if there's a god. My name's Menachem Silverstein. That's how Jewish I am. Jesus was Jewish. So Take that, that your tales. I've been Hindu since before I was born because I believe in rebirth. I have potentially 330 million gods on my side. All these competitors in here, they were born Hindu and they don't even know it. So, we're all on the same team. My team. The winner! The best part of Islam is the community. It's the fact that people are reaching out to help you if you stray away from your faith. And what I also love about Islam is it is the one true religion and we're all going to heaven. Now remember everybody, pray to your God for your number to be shown. You hear a lot about priest scandals in the Catholic Church, but... Everybody's in prayer, let's go! First roll! Six. Wait till I tell the boys on Reddit about this. Second roll! It's a five! <laughs> the Buddha has to win! Third time's a charm, guys, come on. It's a one. Let's fucking go! I'm just Two! Yes! Suck it, Kanye! Lord! Oh my god, that's funny. I'm actually Just the Lord testing me? Fine. Somebody have an issue with this dice? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Let's, yeah, change that dice. Okay, I calculated it and yeah. We had some complaints about the dice being rigged, so I had to bring in a few extra die. So we used four different die throughout the experiment, and they were all calibrated. We tested them beforehand, these are real die. These are real people of real religions. Everything in this experiment was 100% real, except that they didn't get paid. What's the prize, man? Everything you believe in is on the line here. Four. Ah. Six. Yes! You guys all know this is basic probability, right? Roll number 16. Come on, Exorcist. Come on. Four! No. <laughs> We're all one team. <laughs> Three. Yeah. Uh, talk about a second coming. <laughs> no religion at all. And one. one. Oh. Yes. Let's go, baby. We just had three sixes in a row. That can't be a good sign. Um, Bill Maher. What is she doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. Safety first. Om Ganesha Namaha. Witchcraft. I don't <laughs> understand it. I don't like it. Number five for me. Number five for me. Four. 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 <laughs> I must have done something right in my previous birthday. <laughs> Guys, we're at the point where anybody can still win this game. All right? How much do you believe in your faith right now? A hundred percent. When you roll a dice a hundred times, you're gonna expect probabilistically that each number is gonna be about the same, but in fact, there were some winners and some losers. <laughs> it's the final roll! the end of the contest. Um, sorry contestants, there is no cash prize for this. What? What? Whoa. Whoa. The Craigslist Post said there would be. Well, the prize is, we've all come together as different kinds of people. I thought the game would win a lot of money. Look, it didn't go too well for me today, but you know, we're used to it. 
Holocaust Egypt, but you know what? It makes us stronger. And I am happy we did beat the Jew. I'm just happy the Muslims didn't win. I'd say the moral of all of this is you can't judge a book by its cover. Uh, except the Quran, that great book. I don't care that I got in last. The game's not real. I'm not mad. Like I said, I don't care. It's not real. I'm not bothered by it. And stop saying that I am. To all the other contestants, there's a great quote by Benjamin Franklin, who is also Hindu. Failure to prepare is preparing to fail. And I may have had a little help. He's also Hindu. <laughs> I did not knowingly interfere with the experiment whatsoever. I have heard the rumors that since my name is Rahul, a very Hindu name, that that is why the Hindus won. But really, that is just a statistical anomaly. I am very happy the Hindus won, I'm not gonna lie. But that has nothing to do with the statistical anomaly. to win. I'm uh, going to win. Hold for airplane. Oh yeah. <laughs> he answers my prayer. Look at that. With an airplane. We are the religion of peace. Oh wait, plane. As another plane comes through. <laughs> two planes? <laughs> We're the religion of plane. Yeah, well, it was two planes. You hear a lot about priest scandals in the Catholic Church, but there's sin everywhere, and I think you hear less about it in the rest of the world. Maybe there's more of a focus on our religion because of what we are. Nice. That's great. I bullshitted that whole thing. Uh